Step three, let's tune this car. So as you saw in previous, uh, my two previous videos, the first one, uh, the first step of data logging your original stock uh, PCM. And step two is actually to swap the PCM on these 2015 plus uh, Challenger chargers and 300s. And then step three is actually to be able to uh, modify the tune. So in the last few days, I was able to run it with the new PCM. Everything's just fine. Um, so, you know, perfect. So now I'm about to uh, tune and let's go ahead. So first you can uh, select the tune vehicle and then please ensure the key is in run. You're going to wait five seconds. Continue. Please wait. It's going to connect with the PCM. Let's wait this at the stop. All right, so we have the menu here: Easy Tune, Advanced Tune, Restore Backup. So uh, we're going to go to um, now. There is uh, let's see Easy Tune here. Just the menu. There's a 93 octane tune and there's the 91 octane tune that's already uh, set up by Diablo. If you go to Advanced Tune, you can uh, select uh, Tune Select here. And then you have uh, installed Standard Tune or Modified Parameters. So if you want to install Standard Tune, it gives you other choice. So there's the uh, Diablo Tune. The Diablo Tune is also known as the 93 Octane Tune. So in this menu, it's called Diablo Tune. But once you select the 93 Octane Tune, it tells you that you're uploading the Diablo Tune. So about the same you have the 91 and then you have the modified stock tune so before I get to the 91 and 93 octane from Diablo I want to be able to uh, modify uh, you know my tires height and also I want to um, there's two three things I want to do the second thing is to actually uh, boost or bump the rev limiter and uh, that's the uh, um, the RPM rev limiter in each gear, you know, it's uh, it's stopping at uh, 5,800 RPMs in these uh, six-speed manual, and I want to bump it up a little bit more um, because I feel there's a uh, more more HP to get and more torque just right after that until probably 600, 6,100 RPMs, you know, before it starts to fall down. But uh, I want to be, you know, be able to monitor that and see that. So I want to modify that. I want to also see the other modification I can do to my stock tune before I get into the Diablo tune. So if we go to modify stock tune and it tells you modify stock tune will allow you to change parameters such as speed limit without adding power or torque. Use the select yes. I'm just going to connect. Now you can adjust here the modified parameter before you apply the tune. You have access to the uh, cooling fans, desired ECT. Unable to display modification graphic for this parameter. Continue. It seems that you cannot modify this feature here. Okay. How about idle? So idle RPM when the AC is off. Are there RPM when the AC is on? Idle RPM with uh, AC off in park, in neutral. So you get a few settings here. For those that have MDS, the MDS setting is here, enable, disable. Obviously, I don't have that with the six speed. And then we get into the rev and speed limiter. So vehicle speed limiter, you can actually select the uh, top speed you want. Well, I put it at the 190, obviously, and probably never going to get there, but still. It originally comes at uh, uh, 155, the actual uh, electronically limited on these cars and if you have the ST depending on your tire rating as well it might be lower than that now um, rev limiter in drive and rev limiter in neutral so you can select that rev limiter in drive I put it to 6200 rpm I want to start there you know just to give me a little bit buffer there to be able to uh, reach the peak and just beyond a little bit before it starts as shifting instead of that uh, 5800 which is pretty low I think so let's try that and then we have the rev limiter in neutral not gonna change that so then uh, okay you're gonna select parameter what else we have here we have the throttle 
throttle booster. So for those of you that, uh, you know, looking at the pedal commander or this is the pedal commander. So it will, you know, this is exactly what the pedal commander is doing is it's, you know, adding more throttle booster to your pedal. So instead of pushing it all the way to get a hundred percent, you know, you might get a hundred percent of where you want it. So now it's going to increase. I want to increase at 0.5%. Let's start with the minimum. You know, you can do a 0.5. Um, the ratio every time so let's start there at the minimum see if I can feel a difference and then you have uh, what else you got you got uh, traction control oh, there you go tire size finally tire size so you can put it in inches or you can if you have your profile you don't want to do the calculation you can just put your profile here so mine is a 265 right now enter profile is 35 enter and wheel size is 20 enter save and then you know it's gonna actually uh, uh, change it on apply I believe for this settings successfully updated tire size now if you want to do the complete setup you do continue then you put it on For the tire size, it seems that it's not part of the actual PCM, so you, when you change that modification, it um, it already applies it for some reason. And uh, after that, you have the uh, traction control if you want to completely disable, disable it, disable it. But uh, I like to having the option here with the button enable disable. Uh, it's, it's very well made here in these cars. You know, one touch, you get the sport mode. You hold it for five seconds, you have to completely. Uh, disable it or so I prefer that you know different weather you still want to have that access to the to the uh, traction control um, watt fuel you know this are more advanced settings eventually if you get to tune your car and you have a specific you know heathers or cam or, or any change made to the engine you, you might want to look into the uh, wide open throttle fuel um, but right now I'm not going to play in that I'm not going to play either in the spark the wide open the wide open throttles park uh, you can add it uh, there's some ratio here between 1k and 4k so uh, and that's all I see here for modifications so once that's done um, you know you press the apply tune and uh, you go through the process of uh, you know hitting the start to stop button it's loading a little bit it takes about you know 10 to 15 minutes most and uh, then you get to enjoy it and drive. So uh, that's going to be in the next video. Stay tuned.